Welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. So last time, as you might remember, I was trying to get into this room right here. And to do that, I thought I had to stop that Goron that was running around on one of the upper levels. That was true. However, I did not feel like torturing you guys with more of that again. But if you're curious as to how to stop him, I remembered, sort of. Actually, I just thought maybe I'd try it. And you stand in front of him. He gets up to you. Um, he gets up close to you. You throw the bomb, like I kept trying to do last time, over him so he kind of gets stuck. And it turns out he is the Goron leader, Daruna. He's his son. Now, he also gave me this fun little red cloak thing. And now we're going to go get into the... Neither of those were helpful. Thank you, game. Can I just jump that? We're just going to jump it. No, that did not work. I can set a bomb there. Okay. So what I need now is... Um... Anyway, so we just got through that, and now we are, uh, headed into the mountain temple, and now I get to talk to Sheik again. Okay. Yeah. The Bolero of Fire. Bolero? Pretty sure it's Bolero. It's the way I've always heard it pronounced. Hey, look at that. I played it. I think this may be my favorite song. Um, in this game. Not necessarily to play, just the way it sounds. I have. And it'll warp me back here anytime I want. Would she catch the bridge on fire? It just seems mean. By the way, I'm pretty sure the only person who actually has a use for Deku Seeds. Go forward. Is chic. That was not what I wanted to do at all. I was trying to grab a hold of that. So we are going to go back. Good. Okay, it went away. And here we are at the fire temple, I hope. Yeah, fire temple. All right. Turn around! Piece of junk. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. Oop, that needs a key. So let's just go through this door. Hey, look, it's that guy. It's Daruna. I'm back. It's because I was trapped in the Temple of Time. It's fine. Sacred Realm, whatever. Yeah, we know. Uh, the kid told me. Um, I guess the kid didn't tell you guys, though, listening, because I didn't put that on video. I'll go get the hammer. This seems to be a recurring theme, by the way, in Zelda games that feature the Gorons. 
I mean, not in Skyward Sword, but in Twilight Princess, you have to save... Did he tell me what to do and I've already forgotten? This is fun. I wasn't paying attention to what he said and now I have forgotten what I'm supposed to do. I don't think this is going to work. That did not work. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use a hammer on that thing. Oh, there's a door right here. But there's a key right there. Okay, well. Throw. Oh, hey, look. Now you want to L target it. Okay, so I think I missed something in this room. So let's go back into this room. Stop doing that. All right, it's just force a habit. Uh, well, here's one of them. Wait, why couldn't he save this guy? Yeah, you can go. Super not helpful, but thank you. This better be a small key. There we go. Okay. Wee. Yep, that's totally what I wanted you to do. Ugh. Nope. I missed, okay. Good. No. Bad link. Ugh, all right, forget it. I guarantee you there's something over there I could use. But. I'll deal with it later. All right, so now we can get into this room and hopefully the bat, the flaming bats. Ah, no, they got me anyway. Run, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. There we go. Alright, so let's try and figure out what... Okay, well, let's let's just walk all the way across this. I mean, I can see I need a key. Yeah, okay. Those platforms move. Is that somewhat frightening, to be honest with you? I mean, I see why they move, but I mean, still... Okay. Now, we're just going to run over here, and that was a skull thing. I think it was Kern or something. I don't know. That sounded weird. Pretty sure I can blow this. Ah, there you go. Pretty sneaky. Man, there's another one.
Ay. You mean I can use a bomb to hit the switch, the fancy switches? Yeah. Arrows work too. Well, that'll be useful. All right. Here we go. Okay, so let's keep it a going. This one's probably gonna fall. Yeah. I had a feeling. Also, because I remembered. Turn around! I will hand it to every modern game ever. The controls for this one, they are nowhere near as elegant as basically every other Zelda game since. I mean, even the uh, other GameCube games are better than this. Jump on here. Nope. Climb up. And then jump. Huh. Alright. Uh, well, let's play this. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I knew. Okay. Oh, and there's a um, like like there in the corner. And a Skulltola. Also completely useful, but this room wasn't a total loss. I jumped to get it, all right? All right. How many does that actually give me? Let me see. Uh, this way? No. 16. So not quite to 20. Because at 20, I get something. So I have four more to go with that. All right. Now let's go back down here. Can I not grab this thing? Really? I'll just place it back up there then? Okay. You know, you don't have to play the song every time. So the whole point of that was just to get that uh, Skull Tala token. Huh. At least I'm saving Gorons, I guess. Yes, you're free to go. You are free to go. Yeah, I knew that already. I mean, I guess if this is the first time you're playing this game, you've never played a Zelda game before. But other Zelda games have done that as well. So. Ooh, look at that. I, wait, now I have two small keys. I have a surplus of small keys. I'm not sure if... You can check this, but I don't think I've ever had more than one small key at a time. So that's kind of nifty. All right, let's turn and actually face the direction I want to go. That'd be great. Ow. Get, get up. Yeah, you are annoying. Very interesting playing through this game a second time. Or, uh, not a second time. But, however many times I've actually played through this game. Which is a lot of times. I've played through this game a lot of times. And, uh, because when you compare it to even more modern, uh, games. Of course, part of the clunky controls 
are probably due to the fact that I have a really cheap um, GameCube controller. I bought it really cheap on eBay. Um, but I needed a GameCube controller if I wanted to play this, so... Alright. Whee! That, that seems... Oh, that's what that does. Okay. I can climb this, by the way. So let's just climb it. Climb it up. Climb it up. Climb it up. I beat you that time. Oh, careful. Down. Push. And it is down. And now I go up to the next room. Where I need another small key. Fantastic. Alright. There's another Goron. Oh, there's a slug that is literally on fire. And now the slug is no longer literally on fire. Yeah, what is this slug thing called? Torch slug. Well, that's creative, I guess. Well, that's not the direction I wanted to go. There we go. By the way, that is how I run out of bombs. So we're going to put this on a different item. finish this part yet. Okay, hang on. This is a very complicated puzzle we got here. Hence the too far Okay. You jumped too far there. Alright. Now I actually need to drop a bomb. There we go. I beat it. Uh, anyway, so. <sighs> oh. Oh, I remember this room. I don't like this room. I don't like this room at all. Let's tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, I'm going to bring this episode to an end because it's, it's been a decent length of time. And I'm just going to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.